Yeah, I see. I mean, that makes sense. So, but tell me about the time that she was at Def Jam and you was having a meeting for your second album. And Jay Z, he was in that meeting and listening to your second album. And Cam, he found out and he went off. Tell me about that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's part. Okay, continuing on with the question you asked about um staying at Def Jam. Yeah, so I decided to stay with Def Jam. You know, Cam, he kind of wanted me to go to Koch at the time. You know, I didn't really want to go to Koch. Jim was at Koch. Cam was kind of moving towards going to Koch. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I broke down to you my whole reasons on why. But so at that time, yes, I was called in a Def Jam to play my second album for L.A. Reid. You know what I'm saying? And as I walked in the office, like I said, it was it was told to me that I was going to play my. This is the real, you know, coming from me. It was told to me that I was coming to play my record for L.A. Reid. So as I get there, I mean, Jay Z's in the office. You know, he's the executive. You know I mean, and Jay Z has a little. You know I mean, not me, Jay Z and. And, and Cam had they tension, you know what I'm saying? Which, of course, me, I'm Dipset. I'm always going to ride from my side, you know what I'm saying? So I was a little skeptical, but, you know, here's the president. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm always going, I'm, I'm here, but I'm, I'm, I'm still Dipset. So I didn't feel like I was doing nothing wrong. It was no issue, you know what I'm saying? I didn't feel a need to, you know what I mean? I sat there, I played my album. Jay sat there, he listened to it, you know what I'm saying, in the office. And... They fuck with me. Jay had, had a real liking to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know if, like, he felt like, you know what I mean? Cam, like, he, like, Jay was trying to lean on me as an artist. I don't know. But in my mind, it was like I said, I went to, I solely went to play the album for L.A. Reid. I ain't have no ill intentions. I, I, I'm the most loyal. I would never, you know what I'm saying? That's Cam, no me. You know what I mean? That's, I'm too loyal. You never, nothing you could say about me. You know what I'm saying? Thinking about me is one thing, but really, like, come on. I'm, I'm just, my honor is too honorable. You understand what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, yes, I did sit in there, and Jay had, Jay was there. He listened to the music. Like I said, it wasn't like, it was just like the enemy, the, like, oh, you better run, don't be next to this nigga type shit. Fucking Jay-Z, he's the president of Def Jam. So he listened to the album, but of course, yeah, I think Cam was a little bit upset about that, like, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, we had, like, a whole, like, he had think he called and told them, don't be, you know, don't have my artists in there without me type shit. You know what I'm saying? That type of shit. But I, 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 I felt him. I felt him. I, it wasn't like I was mad. I just, ain't, I just ain't want him to, I just ain't want the nigga to think it was me. Like, I had no ill intentions. I'm like, bro, like, all right, well, give or take whatever you think. Maybe you think I should have called you or, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I mean? Man was there because he wanted to be there and listen to my album. You know what I'm saying? That's how I took it. Like, fuck it. You know what I mean? I ain't had no ill intentions, but I don't know. Maybe Jay was trying to be funny in a way. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he was trying to be funny in a way, but you ain't going to get nothing out of me, so it don't matter. That's all you got. You said, like, I looked at it like, yeah, nigga, like, that, like you Jay-Z, your time, like, for you to be listening to my album, that ain't, that's that's I mean that's looking like you took the time out to spend it in the office an hour to listen to my album. You know what I'm saying? Like that's one up for us, Nick. Like what do you mean? Like for real? I'm sure he ain't listening to anybody album. He ain't in there listening to, to me. I'm um, no, he wasn't. But yeah, another thing a lot of people ain't know with Def Jam that really like with Def Jam that we Cam has spoke on. I mean he has said something about um. When he had left, right, he was like, well, why I didn't put out the project? But I did. I put out the God Willing Project, which was like an album, like I said. It really was my album. I just called it a mixtape because I was still going through the things with Def Jam. It was a great project. That album was like crazy. You know what I'm saying? So make a long story short, um, I had a song called Back to the Crib. I had put Chris Brown on it. A lot of people at this time, Chris Brown was going through the Rihanna shit. You know what I'm saying? So me and me, Chris Brown being, I always respect Chris Brown, thought he was talented. I'm like, you know, we all go through shit as men. Everybody was shitting on him still, not giving him a chance, you know what I'm saying? Still, I'm like, I, I want to be the first person to reach back out and, I mean, try to give him that, extend that olive branch. I mean, I'm sure Chris Brown's going to bounce back regardless, but, because he was, he was talented. But he was going through it. Everybody had him in the ex don't with Chris Brown type shit, you know what I'm saying? So I had the record back to the crib. Polo Don did it. Um, 
they had wrote the um the hook for it. I said, I want to get Chris on it. So I'm like, I told the people in Def Jam I want to get Chris on it. Everybody okayed it. Nobody said nothing. You know what I'm saying? Cool. I flew out. Chris flew me out to Florida. You know what I mean? Didn't charge me to get on the record or nothing. Flew me out to Florida. Um, jumped on the record. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Came back. They sent Pecos and they sent Karen Kwok. Everybody know Pecos and they, I don't know if y'all know Karen Kwok. She was working on the L.A. Reed's accomplices. You know what I'm saying? At the time, Asian lady. He's known to have a lot of Asian women up under him. You know what I'm saying? Or just a woman per se. But make a long story short, um, they came to my studio. They're like, yeah. So um, what you think about getting Trey Songs on Back to the Crib? I'm like, what? He like, yeah, you know, he got this successful record with Drake. It's popping right now. I'm like, yeah, I f with Trey. Trey's, Trey's super dope. I said, I'll do another song with Trey. I said, but y'all know I just got Chris. I said, so y'all saying you want me to take Chris Brown off the record and get and put Trey songs on the record? I said, no, nah, I can't do that. Just, just me as a real, no, nah, I can't do that. You understand what I'm saying? So they like, and then they finally, I said, what's going on here, man? They finally came out and told me, ah, right, yeah, this was an L.A. recall. You know, Rihanna, we can't push this shit with Chris Brown. You know what I'm saying? Def Jam, we got to roll with Rihanna. You know what I'm saying? So Back to the Crib was a big record. We pushed that record to shit. I got a summer drink, bro. That record with no Def Jam help. They blackballed that record. So this is what I'm saying. This was shit that I was going through that people don't un understand and they don't know. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, cool. I ain't giving me out an album. I'm just going to do mixtape it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 I made them get to the point where it's like, nah, y'all just dropped me. I don't want nothing to do with y'all no more. Jay-Z had left, you know what I'm saying? And now everybody's becoming independent. Shit is like, I'm like, nah, I can still drop music. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's how that happened. Right. So the backtrack, right? I want to backtrack to the meeting. What exactly was Jay Z telling you in that meeting, if you don't mind me asking? Like, what was he saying to you? No, he was just sitting there listening. He was sitting there, um, just critiquing certain records and stuff. He was telling me what records I should kind of go with for my single and stuff like that. Pretty much, he just feel he was just just, just feeling the joint. He just spoke on basically the records that he felt like were strong enough to be my singles. That's what he did. He spoke on the records that he felt like was strong enough to be my singles. I think it was Clockwork. I had a record which wound up being like my third single at the time. Um, Clockwork. And yeah, I don't remember the rest of the joints, but I think it was the first joint we picked, the Whistle song. We all picked that, agreed, agreed on that. But yeah, that's it. He just gave his little, you know what I mean? And you said that Cam, he called up to the label flipping up? Yeah, I think so. To my knowledge, yeah, I'm sure he did. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. That he definitely let he definitely let it be known he wasn't feeling that. Sh he wasn't feeling. Definitely let it be known that he wasn't feeling the fact that Nick's had a meeting and me. You gotta think, I'm Cam's artist, so now it's like, yeah, I know. Come on, that's how it looks to Cam. Like y'all had a meeting without me. Jay Z, L. A. Reid. You understand? Know, now, even now, I look at your word. That was some funny shit. But I ain't have shit to do with it. I was just called and told to play even now to this day. It might have been a setup. I might have been set up. But like I said, one thing about me is just no me. No, you know what I'm saying? Just like, I'm, a, I'm honorable. So you're going to get nothing. But me, I'm going to tell you go, what happened. This is what happened. Blah, 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 blah. And you know what I'm saying? So, you know. <laughs> 